Hello survivors, Katie here, project lead on the Long Dark. In this video, I'll be guiding you through the new features we've just added to Tales from the Far Territory, the paid expansion pass for the Long Dark survival mode. Part 3 is called Frontier Comforts, and the first section of the video will focus on the features and content added to the paid expansion, with the second section focusing on the new additions to the free base survival game. Part 3 of the expansion pass features a significant new addition, the Frontier Cooking System. We've added several new ingredients to the game, including potatoes, flour, salt, broth, carrots, and more. All the basics that you'll be able to use in combination with some of our existing food items to cook up some great bear delicacies. And a recipe system that lets you combine ingredients in order to create a whole range of cozy frontier dishes, like rabbit stew, acorn pancakes, and peach pies. From the outset, you'll start with a selection of six simple recipes, with a total of 15 unlocking as your cooking skill improves. In addition to these, you'll also be able to track down nine unique recipes, like the Thompson family stew and the Preppers pie, which let you cook more complex dishes and can be found scattered around Great Bear Island. Since most frontier dishes you cook involve more work, time and ingredients than the simple food you normally cook in the game, eating the new complex food offers a variety of gameplay benefits, along with the occasional downside. The unique recipes offer the biggest rewards, including benefits like boosting condition, carry weight or speeding up cabin fever recovery. So the work and resource cost is balanced by the additional upsides, in addition to simple calorie increase. We added a skillet to the game so that you can create some of these new recipes. The skillet, cooking pot and cans are all valid cooking tools, and each can support different recipes. And if you like, you can still cook simple things as before by putting them directly onto the hot surfaces. As with all our new systems, we'll be monitoring feedback and making tuning changes in future hotfixes, so keep this in mind when you first experience the new Frontier cooking system. All these new items will appear in existing Tales save games, and as a note for our interloper players, we have done a careful pass over the placement and frequency of these new food items to ensure game balance is preserved. We hope you all have fun cooking up pancakes, pies and hearty stews as part of your long dark experience. Ptarmigans have arrived on Great Bear Island. You'll find them in small groupings on the ground, perfect for hunting quietly with stones and fire-hardened arrows, since naturally they'll run and fly away if they become alarmed by your presence. They are less plentiful than rabbits, but most regions have at least one flock. Generally, they prefer more remote areas and higher ground. So listen out for them as you travel through the regions, as they can be tough to see in the snow, but they do have a nice distinctive sound. Of course you'll be able to get meat from the ptarmigan, but you'll also be able to collect their down, which will allow you to craft a couple of new items. An improvised down bedroll, which is a cosier version of your usual bedroll, and an improvised insulation, which you can equip as an accessory and adds an extra layer that boosts your warmth. We've added some new weapon and tool variants for part three of the expansion pass. First off, there are three new revolvers. The Hunter's Revolver, vintage style and more deadly at short range. The Forester's Revolver, an older, reliable, durable weapon. And the Warden's Revolver, lightweight with a shorter barrel for faster aiming. You might even be able to get some hints from their names as to where to start seeking them out. In addition to those, we've also added a sport bow, a light and durable manufactured bow, and have also introduced the Miner's Flashlight that is equipped to have a larger and more efficient battery. As for their other variants, they each have a distinctive appearance, along with some stat value tunings that make these unique items worth hunting down as you explore the game. Along with part 3 of Tales, we're also releasing a free June update to survival mode. We've made some significant updates to the fishing system for this update. First off, we've added a way for you to cut your own ice fishing holes. This freedom means you're no longer limited to the pre-placed holes in the ice fishing huts, which means you can now set up your own fishing locations, in regions that have bodies of sufficiently deep water. Of course, everything in the Long Dark is about trade-offs, so while you may have more freedom in where you choose to fish, cutting and maintaining your own ice fishing holes is a lot more work, and you'll be doing this work exposed to the elements and any wildlife that may take an interest in you, so keep this in mind. Where the ability to cut ice fishing holes really shines though is in combination with the new craftable tip-ups. You can place a tip-up over any ice fishing hole and it will automatically catch a fish for you. Unless the line breaks, you get unlucky, or you've left it out too long and it becomes ruined. And the tip-up structure means that you'll be immediately able to see by its position whether you've caught a fish or not. Bear in mind that the tip-up, although convenient, might not be as effective as you are at fishing, so it'll take longer to catch fish this way, and don't expect the tip-ups to inherit your fishing skill benefits. Also note that you'll start to get diminishing returns if you place too many within an area, that also decay in condition. So while you can set up a nice fishing harvesting concern this way, you'll put a lot of work into maintaining it, so don't get greedy. Another new craftable item type you can create are fishing lures, 
and you can also harvest raw fish to create bait. These two items can be added to tip-ups or regular fishing lines to increase your chance to catch fish and encourage larger fish to bite. The lures will also improve your chances of catching one of our rare fish. We've added four new types of rare fish, the Berber, Goldeye, Red Irish Lord and Rockfish, so enjoy that extra variety to your fishing experience. We've also added Burdock, a new harvestable plant. Look out for their distinctive stalks, and assuming you have an appropriate tool to hand, you can dig out their roots from the ground. With a small amount of prep work, you could eat them raw, cook them into a recipe, or make a warming tea that'll also help you combat food poisoning. Well, that covers everything we added to the paid expansion and the free base game for Tales from the Far Territory, Part 3, Frontier Comforts. We hope you enjoy exploring the new features and additions, and we look forward to reading your comments and feedback. For a helpful FAQ on the expansion, or to review a roadmap of what's to come, please visit thelongdark.com forward slash expansion. Thanks for watching, survivors, and good luck exploring the far territory. See you next time.